Good evening and welcome back once again. So the transfer window has opened as we saw previously and there has been some changes. Now, first of all, we accepted the bid for Herrera. So he has left the squad. It's a bit of a shame to see him go. Obviously, he's been here since the start. Him and Vieira and Schubert were the first signings that we made. And the player I was after, we've managed to get initially on loan, but with an option to buy that has been agreed. And we should be able to afford him in not too distant future. But Luka Modric, now just have a quick look at him, he's 18 years old. Look at that though. Ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low passing and loft of passing. Absolutely brilliant. Things like his uh, finishing, his kicking power, stamina layer can all be improved. But as a central midfielder, those are the key stats. Weak foot, usage and accuracy and conditioning is impeccable. And he's already got a load of player skills. He can't actually get any more, I don't believe. So a brilliant signing. And Azpilicueta actually joined the youth squad. So we brought him up. And actually already he's better than Debussy in pretty much all departments. So I think he may be our second choice right back now. We've put Debussy up for loan and for sale. We'll see what we'll get in. Big changes there. Really happy with getting Modric in in place of Herrera. I mean, he's already a 78 and he's only 18 years old. But anyway, let's jump in the match. Today we are playing Elche in the Copa del Rey. And this match will be played at the Camp Nou Stadium because for some reason the Copa del Rey, Copa del Rey matches in PES 2021 are always at a neutral ground. Um, yeah, I thought I'd start as Pelicueta. He's on a bit of an up anyway, so get him in the action straight away. Modric is on the bench, but hopefully we'll get him on. But uh, what a player though, Modric. And he can play attack midfielder roles as well. Like I say, it's sad to see Herrera go, but you can't just hang on to players. And we needed the money. Herrera's not going to improve anymore, which is a shame. Oh, nice play there by Diaby. Oh, good save. Really nice work from the team. Quick passing. Castro or oh, deflected. Chances early on. So Trippy is definitely our number one uh, right back now. First choice. Has been all season really because he's been the only one but. Nice play there. Now Vieira. DRB, oh, it's wide. You may have noticed that DRB has now got the number seven shirt. Switched him to that. And Messi has got his number 10 shirt back. Not that Messi's playing today, but. Ruben Castro, 1-0, easy as you like, really nice move, Castro doesn't miss from there, not actually sure who got the assist, was it Pedri, yes it was, I, I like to try and where possible um, have the players wear what shirt number they normally would in real life, so when I say Pedri, potentially he could have been a number 10, but he does wear uh, number 21 in real life. I mean, I look through and he's been a number 20 before. He's been, I think he wore the number 10 once for Spain. Um, but mainly he's, I think, most recently been using 21. So I try and stick to what it should be. Messi for me is always going to be a number 10. Oh, Diaby's in here. That was a strange uh, punch sort of save. Oops. Didn't mean to run past there. <laughs> that was bad. 
to wait for Lovato. And I switched the DRB to a number seven just because I thought he he seems like a number seven, if that makes sense. So and it suits him. Speaking of Messi, obviously he's joined um what they're called Miami. I can't remember the American club, is it Miami Miami FC or something like that? Um <laughs> And he had his first game the other day, and he scored a 94th minute winner from a free kick. Just ridiculous. He, I mean, you couldn't write it. You wouldn't believe it if you if you wrote it. Oh, Castro, no. And then the next match, which he started, because I think that one was as, as a sub, I think. He then got two goals. Was it two goals and assist, I think he got? In the next match? Yeah, just absolutely ridiculous player. I know it's not in one of the top leagues or anything, but... Now Castro scored an acrobatic goal recently. Went for it again there. Now he is Bellingham. Nearly a nice port of Monelli. Of course, we're only signed Bellingham in the summer. He's going to have some competition with Modric now. Back is getting his uh, shirt pulled there. And Martinelli. Space for back at. Can Diaby somehow misses it? And. Well, they did me a favour there. They could have just let it go out and it would have been their throw in. Martinelli gets it back yet. That's poor. Bellingham now. Bellingham gets it back. Lovely work from him. Oh, just wide. It's a shame. It's a good move. Not spectacular so far. Certainly dominating. And but clear cut chances. You wouldn't say there's been a massive amount. I just mean half chances, really. A lot of them. And Martinelli, for some reason, sorry, Castro couldn't get a, a defender there. Half time, 1 0. Castro with the only strike so far. We had 71% possession in that half. Um, but need to be more clinical. Need to be maybe a bit more pacey with the passing. Just being a bit, a bit laborious at times, maybe. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Oh, wide. Nearly paid off. Need that quick passing, really. Work there from uh, Bellingham. A nice little dink to Pedri. Oh, Jobby Nelly in. Oh, I'm not even going to start with these referees. <clears throat> on side he is I didn't think he was going to be now how is that defender caught with him Diaby is I think his pace is 97 
how is that possible from some big lumbering centre back? Anyway, here's Castro. Diaby back into Castro just a little bit wide. Oh, lovely little flick. Nearly scored. In a lovely finish if that went in. Now Diaby. Straight at the keeper, Castro ah, should have scored there. And it was a well hit. You just got to be either side of the keeper there, really. And we'll look to make some subs soon when we get a chance. Ah, that's poor. The quality's been lacking a little bit. There's been little bits of it. Nice play to Bellingham. Bellingham. Diaby. There it is. Finally get the second goal. Keeper's a bit unlucky there. It's nice the way Bellingham gets it back. Eventually. Thought he had scored there. Keeper made a really good save, but Diaby there to tap it in. make some subs now so we're going to bring on Modric for Bellingham to get his debut Messi coming on for Diaby on the right and Xerxes for Ruben Castro up top so two regens coming on Messi and Modric couldn't really get two better players Yeah, what have you done there? You were in there. I don't know what happened. Good work from midfield there, including Modric. Here's Messi. Messi, good save. This keeper's been very good today. Oh, I don't think that's going to go out. I thought it was going to go out. I sort of stopped running. Wait for Mugwana there. Oh, Nerdy, a decent pass. Good work for Mugwana. Messi now. And there it is. There's the finish that we wanted. On number 10, Messi. Of course, the likes of Modric and Messi, they're not going to get as much game time just because they are regens and they're still very young. Now, the stats are still pretty good. Um, but we're not going to kick out, you know, the regulars just for that. I mean, Messi was there. Uh, brilliant when we signed him initially and then we'll put them out on loan obviously for six months we've got 22 million for that six month loan deal which was ridiculous why well, i'd accept it basically um but he's back in he's not going to go back out on loan now could offer me anything and i don't think we're going to put him back out on loan so he's going to be a, a regular starter Pedri, a oh, really nice ball into Messi. Xerxes, how has Xerxes hit that wide? What are you doing, Xerxes? Xerxes is such a fantastic player, but he has got this streak in him where he'll just miss the easiest goal or misplace an easy shot. A pass, rather. Messi, good save. Martinelli. Gets the rebound. Nice play from Modric. Then Vieira. 
Again, the keeper makes a good save against Messi. The defenders are just all over the place. How is that not a foul? How is that not a foul? You absolutely got scythed down there. The uh, defender. Not the best ball to mess. You see what he was trying to do, but it's a very difficult pass to pull off. But we've got it back now. Oh, I hope so, he's not injured. That was a horrible tackle. I'm sick of getting players injured. Really am. Now, who is going to take this? Oh, it's got to be messy, hasn't it? Oh, just hit the top. Click the top of the wall. It was close. Pedri, oh, of course it's blocked. Always blocked those shots. And Messi, Modric, six eight, poor pass. That'll be full time. Great result. Diaby getting man of the match. Really, there was quite a few players that I could have picked. I don't think anyone was absolutely outstanding compared to others. You can see the front three and then Pedri, who's probably the furthest forward attack midfielder. So the front four really getting the best ratings. And subs-wise, Messi getting a seven. He really made a difference. Modric only getting a five. He didn't do anything wrong and he played a couple of decent passes. So well, that's a little bit harsh. And it looks like we're playing Real Sociedad in the next round of the Copa del Rey. But once again, thank you very much for all of your support. Join me next time for a league match at home. We're seven points ahead of Real Madrid at the moment. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.